In this video today, we're going to talk about fat soluble vitamins, the gallbladder and fiber a bit. When I look at Sean Baker, when I look at steak and butter gal, when I look at Ken Berry, all I see is inflammation. All I see is a bunch of redness on the nose, on the cheeks. Steak and butter gal is also not even a carnivore. I've seen lots of controversy around her lately eating a salad. <laughs> so these people just can't even stick to what they're doing. They lie to make money off of you. I am here talking because I enjoy this and I feel like most people have no idea where to turn, what to do. And I'd like to share my experience, what I've done, the mistakes I've made and what I've learned along the way because I research. And because I'm looking through time and I'm looking through trends and I'm looking through what's happened and how we went from Atkins to the five bite diet, to keto, to carnivore, where everybody is just starving, relying on coffee. I don't hate you if you have coffee. I'm just stating the truth that every single what I eat in a day video, whether it's plant-based, carnivore, I'm a nutritionist, I'll just have my soy vanilla milk latte, baga, 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 because I can't do anything else with my day if I don't have my coffee. I've been there, I've been in the drive-through, I know what it's like. Okay, and I know what it's like to have water and apple juice and baby food and then go smash it at the gym and have people look at me like, oh, what's going on there? Oh, this is like a advertisement for a baby food. So let's get to the point. Carnivores don't talk about gallbladder health and gallbladder is what secretes the bile, which then emulsifies the fat in the small intestine, which you think to them would be pretty important. Diets, high in fat, animal fat, and cholesterol, these increase your gallstone risk. If you are on a plant-based, eating enough calories, having high fiber, high potassium, high carbohydrate, low fat foods, you're in the clear, not gonna get any problems with your gallstones or gallbladder. These will not form because you do not have a bunch of cholesterol running around your body, making things all sludgy. Too much fat impairs absorption of these vitamins, A, E, D, K which by the way, a lot of people take as a supplement, even though they claim that their diet is ancestral and whatever else that they say that, you know, we're all cavemen and we eat bunch of bones and whatever kind of crazy things. Do you really think that's where we came from? Like, are we from monkeys guys? <laughs> like, come on. So now your body is in competition between fat and vitamin absorption. And if you're not having any fiber, the fiber protects these vitamins in the gut to not get destroyed so that they can be absorbed properly. So even if you're having high fat, high protein, zero fiber, zero carb diet, these vitamins are not even being properly absorbed, even though you think they are because you're eating a bunch of fat. Makes no sense to me. High dietary fat is increased absorption, therefore an imbalance. The fat soluble toxins go up, the body is not designed for this kind of chronic stress that you have no control over. You can't just say like, all right, guys, quit with the bile. Like, we're just going to cool it down with the bile. Can't tell your heart not to pump. These are subconscious, unconscious. These things are happening, whether you know it or not, whether we're going to talk about it scientifically and get down to the microbiology and nitty gritty of it. It's happening anyway. Moderate <laughs> to low fat is our anthropological and physiological disposition. The bile system is optimized for low fat, meaning around 10%, if not less. Many consume 40 to 50% of their diet from fat. Plant dominant diets have zero gallbladder issues. Okinawans, Africans, these tribes, people, places that aren't doused in Western civilization, Western culture, Western food that have zero blood pressure, heart attack, disease, kidney problem, like whatever, disease, uh, diabetes, all of it is coming from how you eat, how you live. But if you eat right, live right, you're gonna just overcome any kind of that genetic background that you have that maybe we're all born in a less ideal state, I would say. You know, I grew up eating a lot of food that I wish I didn't eat. I wish I knew this when I was 18 years old. I wish, I wish, but what am I gonna do about it? I'm gonna change things now, cause that's what I have. That's where I am. I'm right here right now. Let's continue. Two to 10% containing is enough for a proper absorption, meaning 
three to five grams per meal. That sounds a lot like what I've been promoting lately, or that sounds a lot like what I've been eating like lately. That sounds a lot of like what I've been doing lately. High carb, low fat, high fiber, high potassium, plant-based, not having steak, not having butter, not having any animal products diet. Vitamin A, sweet potatoes, carrots, squash, spinach, kale, mango, melons, papaya, grapefruit, Vitamin E, wheat, sweet potatoes, spinach, broccoli, kiwi, avocado, olives. Vitamin K, kale, spinach, broccoli, anything green basically, some berries, figs. Vitamin D, the sun, or from fortified cereals. You do not need any animal fat or oil to get these fat soluble vitamins. The liver is always producing bile stored in the gallbladder. When you eat fat, a hormone CCK is released from the small intestine. This signals the gallbladder to contract and release bile into the small intestine to emulsify fat to be absorbed. Bile production is a graded response, meaning the higher the fat, the higher the contractions, the higher the stress. And it, it has to like push a huge surge when you give it a lot of fat. So in my mind, over stimulating and over pumping and like over stretching this it's going to be hard for it to contract a healthy body can expand contract expand contract people talk about this with the muscles you want to you want to pump you know you want to get this going you want to pump the blood you want to pump it up so you have to think that these unconscious things that are happening in our body you want these things to pump well you want your heart to pump not too slow, not too fast. You wanna be able to handle some sort of stressful situation. You wanna be able to run and breathe at the same time. You don't wanna be falling over if you have to run a little bit. This is important. So when you have the bile just like exploding because there's just so much fat that it has to take care of and it's trying to emulsify all of it in this like small, small place, it doesn't work very well. Gallstones are all cholesterol and they will obstruct this duct to the small intestine. Like I was saying, it's such a small part. And this is a fact. So whether you're a low calorie raw vegan that eats too many avocados and not enough sugar supplementation, not enough carbohydrate supplementation, and you're raw, so you avoid rice and you avoid potatoes and you, you know, they all call themselves high raw, meaning they have cooked food sometimes, or they dehydrate their juice pulp and make a wrap out of it and zucchini noodles and things like this. They're on a track, they're on a mind frame of like, yes, I would like to move on from carnivore and be a breatharian, but they neglect the steps of carnivore, vegetarian, fruitarian, liquidarian, breatharian. So where are we? Am I thinking that I'm gonna be a breatharian in this life? Absolutely not. That would be so silly. And that would be so um, irresponsible. Like to even think that I could jump from here to there is like, I'm carnivore to vegetarian. That's, that's a huge step for me. It's a huge step for me. <laughs> and that should be a huge step for a lot of people to get rid of this unnecessary food that we've been told is food. So when your fat intake is optimal on a high carb, high fiber, high potassium diet, which is low fat, your gallbladder empties regularly and not excessively, therefore preventing any thickening, AKA stone formation. Bile is recycled efficiently through circulation. The liver is not overburdened with cholesterol, there is a rich bile production. How men and women are designed to eat. Gallbladder removal. You gotta take medication twice a day for the rest of your life. My cousin had his gallbladder removed and he has to take like a powdered, it's like orange juice twice a day or like half an hour before the meals and it's every day, it's every day. That's where we're at. People just, if there's something wrong, oh, replace it. If there's something wrong, oh, r remove it. Like, it's not about the things that we're putting into our body. It's not about the lifestyle that we choose. It's not about the environment that we live in. It's just snip, clip, snap, whatever. Just replace it. <laughs> just cool. 
Fat soluble vitamins don't just need fat, they also rely on liver function, bile synthesis, and lipoprotein transport. Fueling your liver properly, glucose is the preferred fuel. Liver makes bile acids, well hydrated, well energized. Bile acids emulsify the fats and enable the vitamin absorption, like I said before. Supporting the lipoprotein production carries these vitamins A, E, D, K through the bloodstream. This lipoprotein production relies on carbohydrates for energy. Improve your thyroid and metabolic function. Carbs support thyroid hormone output, T3, T4, which regulates your metabolism. So basically, carbohydrates provide metabolic energy needed for absorption, transport, and conversions for the vitamins A, E, D, and K. Men and women are not designed for a high fat, large quantity diet. 20 to 25 grams a day is plenty for hormone synthesis, cellular function, and fat soluble vitamin absorption. And that's being generous. If you're in this weight loss phase and you're restricting a bit more of your fat and you're still getting it from the whole foods and getting that maybe three grams, five grams per meal if you're having three meals a day, that's plenty, plenty, plenty. There is no obesity, no hypertension, no kidney disease, no autoimmune, no metabolic syndrome, no diabetes in places and cultures that eat a high carbohydrate, high fiber, high potassium, low fat, plant-based diet. That's it. That's it for the fat soluble vitamins. I'll talk about vitamin D more in depth in a different video because obviously vitamin D is from the sun. And like I said, these carnivores, they don't look good. They don't look like they could handle the sun. And I've had plenty of comments from carnivores claiming that they can handle the sun so much better now because they're on this diet. But they never have a channel. They never have actual like before after pictures. It's just like a bunch of stories. If you're a carnivore and if you look like you can handle the sun and you've got beautiful bronze golden skin, please make a video. Please show me that I am wrong. Please show me that there is evidence of this diet giving you the most golden halo-like hue because you are vitamin D'd up from your fat soluble vitamin diet or whatever you're doing. Efficiency and smooth progress, prudence in all matters, recognizing true courage, recognizing different levels of morale, instilling confidence, and realizing what can and cannot be done with reasonable expectations. Such are the matters of a master carpenter. This is the principle of martial arts. Realize where you're at, figure out what you really want, manage and understand your expectations. I am not eating for weight loss. I am not eating for vanity. I am eating for energy output, performance, happiness, chill. I'm eating so that I don't have to rely on anything but actual food to give me what I need. You can't serve two masters, guys. You can't be saying to yourself, I'm going to have osteoporosis if I don't have a lot of protein. And especially because I'm aging now, I'm going to need to have a lot more protein from animals to make it happen. That is not doing the sugar diet, in my opinion, left behind the carnivore tendencies of this culture, this life, this society that we live in. I'm holding myself up to a higher standard than what is accepted out in this world right now. And that's me doing the diet, doing the lifestyle, pumping my blood, breathing heavy once in a while, resting when I need to, getting everything I need to get done, whether it's annoying paperwork and taxes and things like this, or if it's going and doing a martial art class, or if it's going to the gym, or if it's going to play soccer, I'm happy. I'm happy because I can, I have the energy to do it. I know that I am capable of doing it and I complete the job and carbs certainly help. Okay, I'm gonna leave the video at that. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.